standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day. When I saw that first come rolling for to carry my mama away. Everybody, I hope you're doing well today. That was just a piece of Will the Circle Be Unbroken. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to teach you the entire song. I'm going to give you the tabs down below for my arrangement. <clears throat> and I'm going to talk about note by note here. So I'm going to teach you the entire song. And there's a reason I'm doing this, okay? So <clears throat> I like to do what I like to call a musical ministry, okay? So I like to encourage people to learn hymns and praise songs and um, play them for their family and friends and maybe play them at church or play them in jam sessions uh, just to spread that musical ministry, okay? I believe music is very powerful and uh, we can do a lot with it. So I have this little program set up um, to provide that, okay? So at my website, BanjoLemonade.com, <clears throat> this is free for everybody, okay? So at my website, BanjoLemonade.com, at the very top, you'll see a little cross and it says musical ministry there. Click that, okay? Also at the very bottom, it says musical ministry. You can click either one. It's gonna take you to a page, okay? So I talk about my musical ministry and how I do it. I also have some tabs there on banjo, dulcimer, and merlin that I give away for free. My hymn book for banjo is on there for free. Everything I'm going to do for the musical ministry is absolutely free to you, okay? Now, um, I never ask for you to provide support of any kind, and I'm not doing that now. If you'd like to, there's a little spot there to do that. Um, but don't feel like you need to, okay? Um, but what I want you to do is grab that stuff, grab that material, take this lesson, learn this song. It's very, this is a very simple beginner level, ugh. Very simple beginner level of tabs here that I'll have for you. And again, I'm going to walk you through it note by note here in just a second. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's what it's about. That's what it's all going to be for. Okay. So, I hope you're going to stick around and learn it. I'm going to take the capo off because what I've got here is um, you use a capo for your voice, basically. <clears throat> so, you can capo this to anything you want or nothing at all. I'm going to teach it to you in just standard G tuning. And um, you can capo from there anywhere you'd like to your voice. I prefer it at either capo two or three or just, just to compliment, just to basically allow me to sing with it a little easier. <clears throat> so, yeah, I hope you're going to stick around. And we're going to get right into it. I'm going to move this camera so that you can see both hands, hopefully. And we'll go from there. All right. See you in a second. Okay. So we're going to use five chords in this. All right. We've got a G, a G7, a C, an E minor, and a D7. Okay. You probably already know most of these. All right. So G's open. Everything's open. G7 is the third fret of your fourth string. Or the third fret of your first string. I prefer this lower one for this song. Okay. So that means you're going to hit your claw hammer stroke on that fourth string. Okay. Next chord is a C. Again, we're going to use the fourth string there, but that's index at the first fret of the second string. And then at the second fret of your fourth and first string, we have our middle finger at the fourth string, second fret, and our ring finger at the second fret of the first string. C, okay? Now, to make an E minor chord, you simply just lift up your index finger. So at second fret four and second fret one, that's your E minor. Then our D7, we put back down our index finger on that second string first fret, 
and we come over here to the second fret of the third string. That's our D7, okay? All right, so to play through these chords here, we start out on our G. So let's just go back and forth between our third and fourth string, our alternating claw hammer stroke. That's when we come into our G7 chord. Window on A. Okay, now we go to our C. Cold and cloudy. Back to G. Day. I can't sing with it open, remember? <laughs> I warned you. And I saw that. We just stay in G. Curse come. Now on rolling, we're going to go into that E minor. Rolling. Two. Now back to the G. Carry my D7. Mama. Uh, back to G. Way. Now use that little turnaround. There at the second fret of the fourth string. Now let's try this again. <clears throat> Bye and bye, Lord. Bye. Now, G. There's a better. Get ready for your E minor. Home awaiting. And the G. A beautiful song okay so I walked you through the chords now it's time to learn the, the little break there and you can play that break anytime you want okay um, you can play it I like to play it before I start singing the song and then sing verse chorus then play it again verse chorus you know and so on um, I love this if you have a couple of extra singers because you can each take a verse and it's really cool um, but I hope that you're going to grab this tab, learn this song, play it, get good at it, all right? You know, our arrangements don't need to be fancy to get the point across, and uh, all you need is a good, strong melody. So I've given you mostly melody notes here with some fills of our claw hammer strokes, okay? And it just really sounds pretty. You can do a lot with it, and it doesn't have to be crazy hard, okay? So I really sincerely hope you're going to take this, learn it. If you have other people playing with you, you've got your chords there that they can play along with. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break it down into sections because that's how I like to learn songs, okay? Take things in sections, and it'll be much easier, okay? So here we go. This is the first little part of the break that I like to play for it, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through that part right there, okay? <clears throat> so we start out on the fourth string, open, and we're gonna do one note open, and then one note at the second fret, and then an open third string, okay? And then we're gonna do a couple of basic claw hammer strokes off of that third string, okay? Okay, 
so I did three there, okay? Just third string, brush thumb three times, okay? So that's that open fourth string, second fret of the fourth string, and then right into those three claw hammer strokes. Okay, for the next part, we're gonna start with a slide at the third string, second fret to the fourth fret. So we start with a 2-4 slide there on the 3rd string, then we come right back to that 2nd um, fret there of the 3rd string. You may have to practice that a little bit, okay, then open 3rd string, strum thumb, alright? So here we go again, 2-4 slide, back to 2, then open strum thumb. going to just go into two claw hammer strokes at our open second string, all right? Just like this. Okay, let me play that whole little slide um, sequence there for you. Okay, so now let me play that whole first part, okay? both, combining both uh, little sequences there. So here's the next little sequence. All right. Okay, now for the next little section. We're, this is a, this is what we're gonna learn. Okay. All right. So to do that, we're doing the second string open, third string second fret, third string open claw hammer stroke. Open again, third string. Then third string, second fret. I'll do it again. So from the second fret of the third string, we go. Okay, I'll do that again. From the second fret of the third string. Start with our open third string strum thumb. Then a hammer on at the second fret of the fourth string, strum thumb, then an open fourth string, okay? Start that again at the second fret of the third string, and then open. Okay, now from the top, I'm gonna play the whole first part again, real slow. there with about three open four string claw hammer strokes okay and you'll see this in the tab down below also okay so that's the whole first part there all right now let's just play through the part that we've learned so far together okay real slow one two ready and Let's get to the next part of it. All right, so now for the second part, we start off with this, a very similar sequence, but when we do that two, four slide, instead of coming back to two, we're gonna change it up a little bit. 
So let me play that sequence and then I'll walk you through all of it, okay? Here we go. This is the next part. Okay, so you can probably hear that I only changed a little bit there, okay? So what we did is we did the same thing to, that we um, did the first time. We did an open fourth string, fourth string second fret, and then three claw hammer strokes off of our open third string. Sounds like this. One, two, three. Same thing we did before. Now we do that two four slide and let's use our, let's train our middle finger there because we're gonna use this index here in a second, all right? So we do that two four slide on the third uh, string. Instead of coming back, we're gonna put that index finger at the third fret of the second string. And we're gonna hit that twice. Okay, so practice that. And do a claw hammer stroke on that second one. Okay, so from the top, let's go to there. One, two, here comes the slide. So let me play the next part for you after we end it off here. All right, so we ended off here at the third fret of our second string. Now our next little uh, couple of measures are this. So we do two claw hammer strokes at the open second string, then an open third, second fret third, then an open second claw hammer stroke. Okay, let me play that again. All right, now the next. Um, Two measures are like this. Okay, I'll play it again and then we'll walk through it. All right, so that starts at our second string open and we do a claw hammer stroke. Then we put down our D7 chord. Second fret of the third string, first fret of the second string. Okay, so we had that open second string claw hammer struck. Put down the D7 chord and play the third string, second fret, claw hammer stroke. Then open second string, third string, second fret. Then open third string claw hammer stroke. Okay, let me play those, that last little bit for you. All right, now let me play it from the top of where we started here, the second time through this little sequence, all right? turnaround and our little turnaround is a hammer on at the second fret of the four string claw hammer stroke then an open third string claw hammer stroke okay and it sounds like this that's the little turnaround then that starts us over at the beginning okay now I'm gonna play through the entire thing again really slow so get that tab sheet look at it Go real slow and play along with it, okay? Here we go.
All right, you've got it. All right, so I hope that you have learned from this. I hope you've grabbed that tab down below. Um, and if you have a second, go check out my musical ministry page. There's lots of good resources there for you to grab too. Um, and of course, if you like the way I teach, you can join on, you know, join in on the site, but you don't have to do that. This is free. I'm not expecting anything out of you for this. Okay. So please take it. Um, I believe it's part of my duty as a Christian to teach you how to play these things as best I can and show you. And I, I believe that musical ministry is very important. So that's why I want to do it. All right. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.